Hello, my name is Michaeli Seacrest and I will be doing a piece from Love, Loss and What I Wore by Delia Efron, Eileen Beckerman and Nora Efron, and then a piece from Five Women Wearing the Same Dress by Alan Ball. I was 14 when I got my first pair of boots. They were suede and the answer to my need to be identified as a brooding, wounded, but potentially brilliant, artistic, subspecies of female with absolutely no genetic relation to my screaming family. My dog, Corgi, mistook them for an entree and bit a hole in them, so I took a bus to Sausalito and got a new pair. They were olive green leather and came up, you know, right above the knees. By the time I got to Berkeley, where I was an art student, I was all boots all the time. My freshman year, I had two pairs, this one uh, like golden brown and the other this deeper brown. And I always, always wore them with these really, really short skirts. <laughs> I thought my boots gave me a kind of you know, mysterious bohemian charisma, <laughs> tender, but tough and rugged, but sensuous, poetic, but unselfconscious, like Joni Mitchell. <laughs> it was a really happy time in my life. But this one night when I was sleeping, this guy snuck into my apartment and raped me. They never caught him. I had no reason to think that he had ever seen me before that night, but but after the rape, when I walked the streets of Berkeley in my shorts and my boots, it suddenly seemed like everyone was staring at me. So I gave my skirts to Goodwill, <laughs> but not the boots. I love boots. Have you noticed how calm she is today? How serene? She's been a nervous wreck for weeks. She had to be high. And then she has the gall to make us wear these horrible things on our heads so we all look like the flying nun. <laughs> look at yourself in the mirror, Francis. You look ridiculous. You look like a lamp. I mean, well, at least you get to wear this dress, though. <laughs> Mine makes me look like a linebacker. Okay. Now, I certainly understand why she would want to be drugged today to, to get through the whole ordeal. And then there was that stuff about obedience. And everybody was so serious. <laughs> and I was like... Tracy? Obey Scott? <laughs> she already runs that poor boy's life. What a joke. Tracy, the blushing bride. <laughs> Excuse me a second while I barf. <laughs> 